so guys, uh, as promised, um, I will show you this uh, new map program. It's called Incarnate Maps. Uh, you can find it in the link below. Um, there is a paid version and a free version. The paid version has a lot more options. It's not uh, very expensive. It's two dollars per month. Let me check. This is you see Pro HD and this is standard. The Pro is here. Pro plan twenty five dollars per year or five per month. So this is the paid version. Um, but we go now to the standard version, and now what it does is generate a map. So it generates a map. It's basically the C. You'll understand now um, why this is uh, the case and why it's very convenient. So, what we start is we go to this shovel and we add. We go to this paintbrush and we need to check um, the colors we need. I usually go for land one. Um, it's, um, it's good for a base color. And then you have to mark the size of your brush. Um, I will mark it like this and then we'll go bigger. I will explain to you how it works. Let's try and make a part of Normandy, I don't know, um, a small coast uh, of uh, France. So um, let's um, let's do it this way. I will explain to you what I'm doing. It's around Hafleur here. And uh, then you go like this. And then you go like this. And then you go like this. You go up. Now, don't worry. It's not going to stay like this. So I, I make the brush bigger now so I can... Um, do quickly the remaining of the area. Okay. And then we continue. You'll tell me now, Nicholas, what's this? I mean, what coastline is this? It's, uh, it's awful, of course. So we go again to up here on top left and we go to subtract. And here we start sculpting the line to make it a bit more realistic. I have the mouse now on the bed. I'm making crazy stuff. Um, you can um, let's go from here. Also, you can make it smaller, the brush or bigger, whatever it is convenient for you. Let's try and make it a bit better. Not just you know all this. You can remove this what you want, what you want. I mean. Here you can remove this if you want. Not so many islands or whatever. And we continue. We just avoid the. Um, this is a bit big. Just avoid that. You can do it more carefully than, my, than me. Just to make it a bit more realistic than this turn. And let's do these things here. You can make with a smaller brush if you want with this. You see how much more realistic is now. So let's um, let's make a river. I think eight. Let's try and make the Somme. I don't remember somewhere. Um, it starts from somewhere here, a um, bit bit in the edge, but the will change it. So you let's start to make a river. I make it a bit bigger than usual. It goes like this. Then it goes down, continue like this. And let me take a river, a river here. Um, double come, sorry guys. Let me start from here. This is the main, you can make it smaller if you want, again, with a brush. This is, as I said, this is a subtract, but now we can make the brush even smaller. We can go at four, three is the minimum can go at three and we can make you know smaller rivers that come from the main uh, river and just continue like this and um, we can make another one here oh, let's put too many rivers I put but nevertheless so let's have it like this it's enough let's have maybe one more um, let's try and have something that continues here okay so now that we made the river, we can do a couple of things. First of all, you can uh, you can do this after you put all the features, or you can do it now 
let me give you an example get the paintbrush and you go to foreground and you can choose land types and you can uh, I can make the brush smaller you can make it like the opacity and uh, the softness you can you can play with this and and like I said I don't like this color it's not this one I want this parchment I think and you can go no I don't want this one which one is it is it this one No, <laughs> I, I did it before continues. Yeah, this is the yellow. So you can make it here just to give a bit of a. Don't worry, it won't it won't cover the sea. You can make it. You know, maybe you want make this color here. Just play around with colors. You can make many um, nice features. I don't know if you like it. You know, maybe it's. Uh, Show the coastline a bit more. If you want to do this, uh, you can cover all over it if you want. I mean, if you don't like something, you can go to land and you will cover it. Land three, for example, here is a bit too much. Uh, it will be covered. The problem with this program is it doesn't have exactly delete or undo. Maybe it's on purpose so you can buy the new one. So it's very quick to make, but you have to be, be careful. You can delete some features, but I haven't really realized, find out anything. Uh, what else you can do? And but you can do it afterwards. I mean. You can you can play around with the colors. For example, if you're thinking of making, um, you have a woods here. You can you, know, you can put the brush bigger, this small, and you can start coloring the area of the of the wooded area. I mean, France is a very green country, so. You can do this, or you can decide that this would go around the rivers, anything. So you can play with colors. You can play with colors and shades, and you can make a, a beautiful map if you want. So let's start putting features on it. Let's start with the buildings. So the buildings here, you see you have many options. You have Capital City, of course, it's um, it's fantasy, so it has some fantasy buildings that you may not need to use. A compass, I always like the compass. Um, let's put it on the sea. But you can put a compass. I mean, I haven't really um, catered for a compass here, but I'll put it here anyway. Here, for example, if you don't like it, you can delete it. But um, I don't think you can do anything else. So uh, forget the compass, but you can put a compass. So we have a citadel. So citadel, this is very big. It depends on the on, on the scale of the map you want to do. So here you go to the scale and you make it small or big or bigger, you know, here like this. So um, campaigns you need to make... Um, you know, I like my campaigns to be large. So uh, you have the, here is a big city. Um, th th I mean, 30, 30 is okay. 30 is okay. And um, we want another big city here. Um, no, Paris. Maybe here you get Orléans. It's not very organized. Um, and then you have villages, many types of villages where you can put them here. Maybe these will be fish villages or small towns. It could be small towns. You can make them smaller also, you know, making them smaller or bigger. Um, will show maybe the size of the of, of the settlement. And there are other, other types of villages where you can put here in the middle of nowhere and here. And another one here. Um, it depends how your your um, map will be and how your campaign. Um, you have outposts that you can put if you want. Um, you can put outposts. You can you can have also um, these. I like them. These are towers. Um, I'm getting a bit bigger. If you want, this is the outpost. Sorry. So you can have towers, let's say, with the villa. A village has a keep. You can make it a bit bigger. It's not bad, yeah. Or, you know, there is an outpost here um, outside the main main cities. Uh, it depends, on, as I say again, on your, um, on your campaign. Um, then you can have a dock. I put a dock here in the, in the villages that... Uh, it's get bigger, I like it big. Uh, in the villages that they are, let's say you want to make them to be ports, could be a fleur, could be 
uh, some some fast anything, and also to make the effect better, you can you can take um very beautiful medieval ship they have, and you can put it here. You can turn it around if you want. You can have it here, so you can have um ships to denote that these areas are you know these are um ports. Um. So if we're happy, I mean, you can do a lot of work here. But if we're happy, let's put um, another outpost. So Orc Citadel outpost, another outpost. We need a outpost here that's a bit too big. We'll make it a bit smaller. Yeah. So when you fix the areas you want and the cities you want, you can name them, of course, here. You can go and you can name here, for example, you put Paris. Let's put Paris. It has different fonts. It has Metamorphosis, it has citizens, Sinizel, you know, this Lutania, and I don't know what the hell it is, this one. So, and, and you can move here, you can have Paris, you can have here, you can go here and have, uh, I don't know, Orleans. Orleans. Um, you can have here, I mean, well, half layer, let's say half layer is. It's here, so we can put it in the correctly geographically for sure. But anyway, Harf, Harfleur, let's say this Harfleur, you can make Harfleur smaller, you know, depending on the size of this. So you have a lot of uh, options of um, um, for the editing options. For a free program, it's amazing. Um, and when you finish this, my favorite actually, <laughs> it's true, is um, the, the the bridges. It's very important how you put the bridges strategically so the campaign will be. It has the bridges in different um, angles so you can cover all your area. Here you see. And you can put a bridge here. We can make it bigger if we want. I mean, I like it's not, it's not bad being bridge being out of proportion. Um, because it will be it will play an important part of, all of your campaign. You can have a bridge here protected by the keep. So you have the bridges. And um, let's put one more here. Close to the, to the city. So that's fine. You have the bridges. You have the city. You have ports. Um, you see if I, how fast this is. Very fast. I mean, if you sit down and think about it, you can have roads also, but we can do it in the end. And now let's put uh, scenery. Now let's put mountains. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm sorry. So we'll put mountains. The size of the mountains, um, you can scale. I think it's okay. And 60, 62 is a bit too much. 50, you play around with it. No, this is a bit small. Six is not, well, it's okay. Yeah. So you can put it one by one, or you can push, press the button and create like this. I think it's very realistic. So you follow your, I mean, if you want to make a, a actual place that you know, just check the, the map, see how it looks, and um, create it. Um, then you can go for hills. I usually put hills here. You know, there are the foot uh, before you know before you reach the big mountains. You put hills, some hills here. Maybe you have a couple of. You can put them on their own. You see, like this. You don't have to make them continuously. You have maybe some hilly areas here, and maybe here you have some hilly areas, and also you have some mountain that goes up. You see how beautiful the map is. I said, I well, haven't been doing it for five minutes. Nothing. It's nothing. So as the maps are ready, the ports are ready, the cities are ready, everything's ready, let's go to the trees. Now the trees, again, you can put one by one. Or you can go and start, and start pressing continuously and fill it up if you want to make big woods. Uh, I'm trying to make it as random as possible, so it won't. Um, it would look a bit more realistic. Yeah, you go, you put up, and you pr you continue to press the. Um, but you can do it, and by by pressing one by one the the mouse button, but you press it continuously and just move the cursor cursor up and down, 
and um, you can make it, I told you, you can make it bigger or smaller, huh? Here, these are bigger. You know, sometimes bigger is a bit better. And um, you can fill the area up. It won't cover, you see, it won't cover all the ants. It won't cover anything, so if you have a very nice, beautiful um, very beautiful, um, small, um, a big, uh, you know, woodland uh, here. You have something smaller, maybe here. That sort of surrounds the city, and here also. See how my very. I mean, well, I've been working what five minutes, ten minutes. Maybe you have more woods here around um, the this side of the river. It's up to you. I mean, I'm going to make 100 years war Normandy part of it like this, but I'm um, oh, sorry. Uh, so, and you see the color that helps here. For example, you have to, you can go again, get this color with a smaller brush. You, you use, you minimize the size a bit and you can go, sorry about this guys. And you can go here and start making the area green so it will look better. So the same here, if you want to do something like this and start changing. Here. Or you can make it also brown when it's close to the to the mountains. If um, here you see, if you want the area. I mean, you can you can play around. I mean, you can fill them up with this, and it will look good. I mean, I, so you can, and then you can put green again, and the map uh, will change. It's a green area, so the map will change. Will will look good. Will look different, so you can you can fill it up, and you can leave also the the initial um, the initial skin you have because it's nice also. Sorry, guys, it was too much. Uh, Um, so you can you can play with colors. You can play with any types of colors, um, maybe you want. And of course, you can play with brushes, as I told you. Huh? The size of the brushes you can go like this around. You can you can do anything you want. So also, you can make roads. You can make the brushes. Uh, um, sorry about this. Um, so you can play with textures. Don't worry about your uh, rivers because it's cut. So you can play with textures. Sorry about this. This land. This is this is white. Um, just a little bit more green here if you want, but it's a smaller. So also you can play with opacity and uh, and uh, softness and the size here. The sizes go quicker. You won't cover anything, the mountains or anything. You'll cover only the land. You want green. Maybe you need a little bit of different parchment. This is... And if you don't like it, you can go over it. And remove it. Maybe it's too much. So... Here, maybe around the river is... Um, is marshy. what you think guys again here you can use many colors if you find time to sit down and do it you can use many colors see how the map changes how beautiful the map is let's put some trees some more trees let's say you want to put here we have small woods and roads if you want roads if you are interested in roads you can do the same thing as you put the colors go here you minimize it to three the brush what how do you want the road to look maybe parchment I don't know so you can start from here. See, if it's too small, maybe you need a, an eight. An eight, let's see, an eight. Yeah, and you can make roads. 
that go through the woods. You see, so you can see if it's difficult ground, we go here. The roads. Or something like this. Um, I hope you understand. Ah, also, we have uh, pines. You can have pines here at the beginning of maybe the mountains. So you can make them look better. You know, it's a bit of a... But maybe you can have them. You know, here you have some pines. Maybe, but you can have... And you can have a pine tree forest. Give the right now. This pantry forest to the coast is not something that is usual, but I'm saying you have a right. Also, you have um, dead trees. It's okay, it's a bit more um, uh, fantasy thing. So, you see how the map, and I'm working what half an hour, you see how the map is developing, how the map is changing. Um, let me put a bigger brush, put some green here. Some brown. You see, and doesn't. But be careful though, you don't have a delete. Or I'll show you how delete works. So let's make the brush smaller. So you have different colors here. So you can. So let's say this is the map you finish. You have Paris, you have Flair, you have whatever you want. You can make, of course, bigger. You can put here. Um, you can put here, let's say, um, France, fourteen oh eight A.D. to so be. Uh, you can make it, of course, bigger uh, here. So this can be your title. So you can have it here, France, fourteen oh eight A.D. You can delete it from here, this one, but I don't know anything else. So France, 1408 AD, you can have this Paris or Leon, but now you will see how you play the game. That's up to you. You go here in the uh, in the um, shovel, and you go block, if you want to play with blocks, X. If you want to play with hexes, let's go clue. You can zoom also. You can zoom and work on this too as well. So you can see here, if I want to go here and subtract, and I will go circle because it's easier, and I have small circles, so you can go and make it really detailed, whatever you want. So, um, so this is, you, I mean, your campaign can be with hexes, your campaign can be, can go very close, not bad quality, and your campaign could be, as I, as I told you, uh, uh, with uh, blocks, you can it can be a circle, meaning that they won't, uh, you will remove all this um, afterwards. So, I like it with hexes. So this is how it is a map. Very easy, very quick to make. Very beautiful. It would be amazing um, to make a campaign here. I mean, uh, uh, I will give you some campaign rules I have, I'm creating in the next video. So you go here, and you save it let's go let's um let's go again it failed okay so here it is show in folder let's check it out and here is the map ah, i haven't done the below okay that's no problem you here for example you are supposed to finish. I didn't see this, so you have to go down. Yeah, my fault. I haven't completed everything. Um, so, yeah, you will fix this, no problem. You can fix this. So, this is the map here. Let's forget the bottom one. So, what I didn't do. So, look how beautiful it is, how quickly it was. You can put normal, you know, uh, fictional areas, you can make uh, uh, areas that exist very easily. Uh, the woods, how beautiful they are, you know, the, the bridges, um, the mountains, and you can have your campaign with hexes or with with squares. Um, and uh, 
just move from the grid easily and make your rules and enjoy a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful map, I would say. Beautiful map for campaigning. If you want to do it through the computer, if you want to print it A1 or A2 or A4 or whatever, and have your miniatures on it and move it and fight the battles, I think it's an amazing, amazing tool, and it's free. Anyway, guys, this is, as I promised, um, uh, this uh, free map making program. I hope you enjoyed the video and in the next video I will show you some ideas I have uh, on uh, campaign rules using the map. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye.